So in this video, we're going to take a look at the general case. A ball of mass m kilos is dropped from a height of h1 meters, and it rebounds off the floor to a height of h2 meters. So let's draw a diagram so we can visualize what's going on. Here's the floor, and the ball is dropped at um, a speed of, well, drop from rest, okay, and it's going to hit the ground with a speed of, let's say, p meters per second. And then it rebounds at a speed of q meters per second up to its height of h2, okay, where its velocity then will be zero. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look and see if we can write p and q in terms of h1 and h2. And then we should be able to get a formula for the coefficient of restitution. So let's take a look at the downward motion first. So taking downwards as positive, so the before. So we're going to use the constant acceleration formula because the acceleration is constant because of uh, it's, it's going to be accelerating due to gravity. So the displacement will be h1, because it goes from a height of h1 to the ground. The initial velocity uh, being dropped from rest will be 0. v, the final velocity, is what I want to find, so that's p. And the acceleration will be g. So if we use v squared equals u squared plus 2as, we can write p squared is going to be equal to 0 plus 2 g h1. So p is the square root of 2 g h1. OK, so that's good. Now we'll take a look at the after, and taking upwards as positive. So again, we'll do suvat. So from the ground up to its height, in the re after the rebound, will be h2. The initial speed is what I want to find, so that's q. v will be 0 when it hits its maximum height. And the acceleration due to gravity, because we're going upwards, will be minus g. So v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So 0 is going to be equal to q squared plus 2 times minus g times h2. So q squared will be 2g h2. So q will be the square root of 2g h2. So we now have p and q. Now the coefficient of restitution is the speed of separation, so q, which is the square root of 2g h2 divided by the speed of approach, 2g h1. Now we can write that in a single square root, and we'll have 2g h2 over 2g h1, and of course the two g's can cancel. So that will be the square root of h2 over h1. Alternatively, you can write that as e squared is h2 over h1. Okay, and so that gives us a uh, simpler form for finding e in this context. Okay, now this only works when you don't have any resistance forces. Okay, so you're treating um, the ball as a particle and you don't have any resistance forces, uh, but that is how you can calculate the coefficient of restitution in general.